Oh, you just want to jump in on the party too. And look at who all they're allied to. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Look at all their allies. Look at that. That's that's unbelievable. That's so many people. This is is this Realm Divide already turn three? Ah! Ah! We know we're under attack! Hey, I'm Triple Z Hacker, and I'm back once again with another Shogun 2 mod. This is the last Alliance Total War which is a Lord of the Rings mod for Shogun 2 that takes place during the second age of Tolkien's Middle-earth. This mod is truly spectacular, and I've listed several links in the description on the information about the mod. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more Total War content, and comment below which Shogun 2 mod you'd like to see a video on next. Now, as you can see, based on the title screen alone, it's quite the overhaul of Shogun 2. I mean, just look at the fantastic artwork here of appears to be Minas Tirith, and then you got an elven warrior here kneeling, so the botting team dedicated quite an amount of time into this great project. So for those not familiar with the lore of Lord of the Rings during the Second Age, you have the decline of the Numenor Empire, the creation of the Rings of Power by Sauron, and then his attempt to take over all of Middle-earth that was only stopped by a last alliance of men and elves. So that's where the mod gets its name. Of course, that's also the battle we see in the prologue of the movie trilogy. Keeping all that lore in mind, now I'm going to go into the custom battles, and we'll look at a few of the units, the factions, jump into a battle real quickly just to see the combat and how the units look on the battlefield, and then I'll go into a few turns of a campaign just to show you guys the campaign for this mod as well. All right, so in the custom battles, again, all the Shogun 2 basics still apply. We have the Kingdom of Lindan, and then, of course, you got four other factions here, so some human factions, and then uh, an elven faction, which is the Kingdom of Lindan here, so... Got these beautiful units. I mean, the unit cards alone look amazing. So I'm really excited to see how they look on the battlefield. Then we have the Black Snake Clan here. So this is either like, I think, eastern or southern part of uh, Lord of the Rings. I'm not too familiar with the Second Age. So if I'm wrong about that, please correct me in the comments. But again, these units look really, really cool. Like you got Serpent Cataphract here. I <laughs> mean, what a name. And then uh, we have the Golden Lion Clan. Again, the units are relatively similar between the similar types of factions naturally, but I expect the modders to, of course, expand upon the mod in the future with more updates. So, again, be sure to join their Discord to keep updated with the mod. And, I mean, you know, I'm really excited where this goes. There's going to be more factions, larger unit rosters, everything. The uh, next faction we have is the Empire of Numenor here, so... The human factions, and I mean, the oh, units look so, oh, so good, so spicy. <laughs> now we have the Kingdom of Numenor, because of course there's a fat, you know, Numenorean civil war happening in the middle of this campaign. And I mean, you know, slight variations for these units, but again, so beautiful, so majestic, so gorgeous. I really can't wait to see how they look on the battlefields. All right, so I set up a little quick custom battle where I'm playing as the Kingdom of Lindon, the elven faction and as you can see taking a look at some of these units here like the no door light spearmen they're beautiful I mean, gorgeous the models look amazing and you can see just such detail in the armor the weapons the helmets everything it's it's really really amazing job by the modders here like looking at this cab as well just unbelievably i mean the shields alone look amazing anyways let's start this battle we're fighting the uh kingdom of or no the empire of numenor i should say and as you can see some of the units have like yari wall for instance these units have deploy stakes flaming arrows whistling arrows you have these two units here that have rapid advance yeah let's take a look at this um general's unit real quick as well so i mean just again such a beautiful unit they got all these amazing abilities too and so it begins <laughs> see the numenor the human units look also great Oof, nice elven volley of arrows right there the spearmen more spearmen here you got the bodyguard as well right here really cool unit those helmets look nice the golden armor as well you know 250 range for these bows plus 11 melee attack and 12 mana defense. I mean, some of their stats are really beefed up. Nice. But it makes sense, you know. 
Those elven archers uh, are pretty good. Okay, so they have some bow cav as well. So we got a bow cav fight right here. Here they come. All right, uh, these units here. Let's get in the yard wall. Advance forward. I think they do have more infantry than us, which might be a problem. Get the archers back. Hurry. Absolutely devastated that cav unit. It's nice. Yeah, I mean, just uh, again, it's it's really nice to have this this mod, and I mean, you can see the combat system is still very similar to Shogun too. Of course, nice fast-paced combat. Of course, there's shields in this though, so it might be a little less quicker. But yeah, I mean, oh, it's just so beautiful. Okay, we're winning that flank. Yeah, the Yari wall is so broken. Those swordsmen are holding quite a bit. Actually, keep the infantry there. Well, I only charged in one of the cav units. Get around here. Yeah, target the general. Let's get these archers. Actually, only one of you should suffice. They got another cav unit, actually. Some more scouts. They got hunters over there. Yeah, these elven archers are amazing. Nice. Took out most of them. Let's see. Those scouts coming to fight us in a cav fight. We'll just send our melee cav in. And I think the elves are the only ones with melee cav, interestingly enough. So I do expect the modders to expand upon the factions, get a bigger unit roster for all of them as well. So definitely join their Discord to keep updated i guess with the mod and all the changes they make to it in the future i mean it has tons of potential in my opinion and let's do second wind real quick as you can see from the battles alone they're pretty enjoyable <laughs> just i mean it is you know shogun 2 just modded so of course they would it's a good game <laughs> but uh yeah i mean i you know i've had or seen people talk about speculation for future, you know, fantasy Total War titles being like Lord of the Rings Total War and stuff like that. And this right here is just a good example of there's people who are certainly capable of turning Tolkien's work into a Total War game. And that would be amazing to see, in my opinion. But yeah, looks like we have most of them, which just charge his bodyguard in the back and hopefully he'll rout because he's getting shot to pieces by arrows he's surrounded by infantry and now he's getting charged in the back by cav a fool is utterly vanquished let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory yeah even they got the voice different too so you can see just the complete overhaul and uh, really really great stuff that was a really enjoyable battle now it's time to check out the campaign all right, so we're gonna start a new campaign. The current campaign that the modding team has made thus far is uh, just a prologue, but um, you can see like the map already looks really cool. You got a couple of other playable factions here that weren't in the custom battles, like some of the Numenorean colonies. Or this campaign, I'll be playing as the Empire of Numenor because they're the richest man of Arda. I mean, money, wealth, power, you know, all adds up <laughs> and of course we'll be playing on legendary and um, yeah let's just test out this campaign a few turns uh, see how it goes of course we start off in a little precarious situation with a civil war which should be pretty interesting all right so look at this nice campaign map it looks beautiful they got all these nice different uh, I guess models for settlements as well and I mean just look at the full map of Middle Earth. We're over here on this little island of Numenor. And, um, yeah, already we are in debt. I mean, this is like the U.S. economy right now with our deficit. I mean, look at that. My God, 4,000 a turn just gone. Next turn. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Let's go to diplomacy and see some things. So, we're already at war with the Kingdom of Numenor, two of the colonies. We have one of the colonies that likes us, and, uh... Let's see, we can trade with maybe the elves, even though they don't like us. Might be able to come to an agreement. Let's let's see. 460. Oof. Oof. That's a lot of money. Maybe we can uh oh. 
It's funny. Let's see. Uh, I'll give you like uh, 200 maybe. 200 might be able to come to agreement. Missing string. Okay. Oh, that must be because they're just like they need to add stuff or whatever. Again, this is an alpha, so I expect this to all be uh, add adding a ton of things. So we got some units here. We got some units back over here as well. But honestly, the way things are looking at the start, we might have to disband a few people just to get our finances back in order. So let's just disband some of these units real quick. Yeah, there we go. Now we're only losing 2,000. Let's see if we can get rid of these guys here. 2,300. Yeah, still losing a lot of money per turn, but... Better than 4,000. I mean, I hate to disband units. Let's get this general over here. You can see a nice army there. Um, let's look at some of the buildings, actually. So, yeah, the thing about this mod is all the buildings are so unique. Like, you got some buildings that provide more soil. Others that provide wealth. Others that allow, like, cav recruitment, for instance. Really nice. Of course, that's barren soil, so we're not going to build anything. <laughs> there, probably got... Uh, all these different building types over here too, like stable, like, well, yeah, the stables, of course, but workshop, literacy, performer stage, like hunting lodge, gold works, all like watchtower, all of these different things. We got the mastery of the arts still. It's got some military technologies here. Yeah, it gets us some pretty good units. Got the civil ones as well, enables a ton of buildings. So, ooh, faction wide happiness. Yeah, some of these are really, really good really really nice so we'll go for tax reform first because i mean clearly we're not taxing the people enough if we're losing that much money right now and uh you know in order for us to conduct war wage war we need taxes we need the people on our side again we have a long border with uh the kingdom of numenor our foes so we got to be able to garrison it all now let's see can we just take this place right off the start i wonder Oof, look at that. Good chances are resolving, so you just might as well. Nice. Okay, peacefully occupy. Oof, first place taken. Cool. Sweet. Uh, What do we have here? Gar Ooh, pretty good garrison as well. Goldsmith. Okay. We're not going to have a ton of money next turn, but we might have enough. Um, I'm a bit concerned that we might get attacked by a larger army though so let's see if i march out this way what do we got okay so there's their army right there successful first turn um let's just end this and see what happens next turn now it's gonna rest hey sweet so definitely check out the discord server and patreon for the mod team really incredible stuff okay so there's one of their armies there's another one of their armies maybe we can just fight them in the field right now Maybe they'll sally out and fight us. What are the odds? Runs away. Okay, interesting. 7,000 a turn though, that's a lot of money. Whoa, that's a lot of money. I mean, just take it. <laughs> All right, nice. Okay, we're not losing as much money. Superior wood acquired, nice. But now we might have to deal with a siege or something. Oh no. Different religion? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Different culture must be. Non clan religion. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, that's bad. Oh, that's so bad. That's actually terrible. Oh my god, don't build these buildings. Don't. No. No. No, we gotta get rid of this. We gotta get rid of that immediately. I guess we take if we take these two, then it looks a little bit like in our favor. And if we definitely take this city here, I mean twelve thousand, like none of our stuff is making that much per turn. So we definitely need to take that as soon as possible. Like the only problem is is that army there is Plus the garrison is going to be tricky, but maybe we can just besiege them out and hope that this army tries to like get involved or maybe they'll sally out and fight us. I don't know, but um, maybe we just send it and besiege this and hopefully they fight us in the fields. Hopefully we'll send another like general here to help and then a third one as well. 
and hopefully they fight us in the fields. Please sally out and fight me. Please. That'd be great. Oh. Oh, God. Yes. Okay. So we got... Uh, it's really even. Okay. Um. Oh, I think I've been on this map before. <laughs> this map looks familiar. Are they going to camp on that hill? Ooh, please tell me they're going to camp on the hill. So I will exploit them mercilessly. Wait, are they not? Nope. Oh, fuck. oh no. Oh, that's right. They attacked me. That's right. That's right. Okay, so we need to find high ground ASAP. Maybe over back here. All right. All uh, right. They're already under attack. Ooh. ooh. They got that range. That's right, they got that range. <laughs> Made to play stakes. <laughs> yeah, that range on those bows are insane. It's insane. Okay, let's fire back, maybe? Please? What are y'all doing? Fire back. Jeez. Okay, I just took way too many casualties from just missile fire alone because these stupid units. Uh, I guess they were deploying stakes. The Ari wall. Man, I do not like my chances now. Yeah, this is looking bad. We got rid of one of their melee units, so I think we should just advance. Oh. They're absolutely murdering us with these bows. Holy shit. These guys have Yari Wall too? I mean, yeah, we, we can't engage in the skirmishing for much longer. I think we're breaking through. What is the general here? Yeah, they are, but you know what? They they need to be attacking. Okay, can we win on this flank? That'd be great. What are you doing? Stupid archers. Come on, we got a breakthrough on this side at least. Okay, we win there. 
Not both of you, just one, just one, just one. Oh, they devastated the shit out of us. Okay, the middle is not looking great, actually. They're not looking great at all. Like, everybody just shoot there. Okay, they're finally breaking on that side. That's good. Might get away with this, actually. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, hold firm. These guys have hold firm. That's right. Oh, my God. Was I thinking of not using that? Okay, stop shooting into that and shoot into this where we're, like, barely holding. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, my God. I had no idea you weren't even in the combat. Silly. Yeah, they reinforced this flank pretty good, though. Okay, get out of Yari Wall. You need to move faster. Min. Oh, this is looking bad. Like, that looks bad. It looks very bad. Shooting to that. If we can just break through over here and clean up this center before this collapses on us, that'd be great. Okay, one there. One. Low. Need to get you into the fight. Everybody shoot like in there. Okay, I need you to just break through there. <laughs> Circle rounds. Jeez. Did they come back as they were routing? They came back as they were routing, I think. There's no way. Get over here. Took a lot of casualties though. Oh, so many. Do you have no ammo? Just get into the fight. Oh, geez, our general is getting hurt. Oh, fall back, fall back. Going to melee, hold the front line. All right, there we go. We broke through here. We broke through here. Whoo, General took a lot of casualties. My god, but we had to fight that. Their archers absolutely decimated me. Like, I was not expecting them to start shooting from that far away. I forgot the range is ridiculous. And I guess my archers were deploying stakes or doing something stupid. <laughs> but oof, oof, way too many casualties. Way too many. But if we do take that city, it'll be nice. Stabilize our economy a bit. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. No, I don't need to do that. Oof. There we go. They're finally routing. Let's see. Oops. They're holding on there. Yeah. Oof. This could have been a lot better. Nice. I mean, just look at this battlefield. It's unbelievable. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> they lost a lot of people, but so did we. My god, these dudes, like, what were you doing? Did not perform well, but still, take it. Take the dub. Oh, we even got it. Wow. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, well, oh, there goes all my money, maybe. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you just want to jump in on the party, too. And look at who all they're allied to. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Look at all their allies. Look at that. That's that's unbelievable. That's so many people. This is is this realm divide already turn three? They have fifteen provinces. They're, oh my god. Like their allies better not join them. I swear if their allies join them. Okay, woof. Oh my god!
I was worried. Okay, yeah, ports blockaded. Sea route. Ooh, all right. So now we got art master tax reform. Look at that. Oh, finally making money. Finally making money. My God. Finally. Okay. What do you need? Ponza and Spear Square. Hold on. Maybe we'll do call to arms since we're at, like war with so many people. Still though, we captured this place, which was nice. And public order is actually kind of stabilizing. This was a <laughs> a pretty pretty good introduction to this um, campaign. Now it seems like more than a a good time to uh, pretty much just say that this campaign's already off to. I mean, relatively good start. We conquered about three provinces, took out a full army of the uh, kingdom of Numenor at the start. I mean, they still have another army coming over here, but I mean, these provinces are a lot more valuable than that one. So. Off to a great start for this campaign, and overall, I mean, it's uh, certainly fun, and I really love all the different buildings. Again, really excited to see what all tech is added, and I mean, already the diplomacy reminds me of Total War, with uh, war getting declared upon me from, like, across the map. So, uh, definitely um, a great great campaign thus far and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i might continue this campaign in the future so let me know what you guys think about that but once again subscribe check out this mod's discord and the links down in the description below and uh, let me know in the comments which shogun 2 mods you would like me to try out and make future videos on as well anyways take care you guys